Okay, hopefully this works. All right, we talked about, um, oh, this is episode three of my, uh, what, weekly-ish uh, accountability log vlog for my concertina. We talked about chords, we talked about vibrato, and all the wonderful things you can do if you just wiggle one of your hands while you press in or out. I found the C <clears throat> key chord, and up here, I found it down here. F chord, I found a G chord, it's really low, and what I ended up doing is I found a G chord that's much higher, but still sounds good, and is also really close to the C, so I can actually switch back and forth pretty quickly. I probably need to get used to playing my pinky on that one before switching back to C, because right now what I tend to do is C, and then move my whole three fingers over to these three notes, this one, this one, and this one, these three notes, when I go to play a G chord. But now that I know C, F, and G, I can basically play whatever folksy song guitarists are really used to, you know, playing. Like, uh, well, here's Wonderwall. Actually, I don't know what Wonderwall sounds like, but I did want to take a minute and play something that I did figure out. So my next step was basically start going through all the notes I could see and figure out maybe like a place that uh, that uh, has different melodies that I already know and just figure out melodies. So I, I tried to work on Sea of Thieves, which I hope to post here soon, as well as things like which sounds, you know, pretty all right. I still need to get used to switching from note to note a lot better, and I see the stream kind of froze. So anyway, uh, switch from note to note faster and better, because a lot of my notes end up being like, like there's this delay in between some notes. You know? If I play one note that's pushing in and one note that's pulling out, I have to suddenly <clears throat> make that big change. Ah, oh, crap, I'm getting all stuttery. Okay, let's play something else I learned. So I kind of figured out some Swiss Family Robinson. Let's see, how does it go? Um, I feel like I kind of need to maybe type out the notes, put it into some sort of, um, uh, what's it called? Staff. It's a staff. You're putting it on a staff. Notation software. Put it on some notation software and uh, have it all splayed out with the markings of which notes are in and out. And that'll be a good indicator, a good reminder of what I'm doing. So anyway, let's stop right there. That's, that's kind of what I figured out so far. Some exciting stuff because, you know, some of that, to me at least, sounded Pretty good. All right. So thanks. Talk to you next time. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs>